Hey, this is Irvin Griffin, and I was just going through a marathon of um, Dark Side of the Ring, Beyond uh, Beyond the, the Ring um, series off of Viceland, and they actually got a pretty good series going right now called The Wrestlers. But one episode in the Dark Side of the Ring that I was interested in, by the way, my favorites, just to tell you, of the series there's been like five episodes my favorite of the series is the one on macho man randy savage and miss elizabeth which is actually the subject of this video uh the montreal screw job seeing it from different angles uh the bruiser brody uh murder case because i was actually a alive when that happened well i'm still alive now but you know what i mean i was actually around when that happened i remember reading that that was a big scandal in the wrestling um, magazines at the time and um and of course the von eric saga which there's been many documentaries from heroes the world class to the wwe putting their own documentary out and now we got this one of course this one we actually do hear i mean we heard from kevin von eric and the others but we actually do hear and we actually see what happened to him afterwards you know kind of an update on what's been going on with them but this one on macho man and miss elizabeth um when i was listening to it i listened to it a few times but when i was listening to it a couple of days ago again and this is not the crap on neither one uh macho man and miss miss elizabeth had at least in the beginnings from what everything i've seen and heard a very happy marriage but then as time went on savage while he was never physically abusive he definitely was controlling of elizabeth at least from everything i've gathered and like anyone you know when you're suffocated and controlled and keep in mind all this is alleged when you're suffocated and controlled eventually you want to break free I mean, that's the case with parents and their kids. And I'm sure that's the case with husbands and wives, not just with the man controlling the woman. I'm sure there are cases where the woman is dominant and the man finally just said, you know what, enough. And unfortunately, it isn't worked out like adults, like it should be before it's too late and, you know, causes chaos. Now, while there's never been any evidence of infidelity on a Miss Elizabeth's part during her marriage with Macho Man Randy Savage. While there's never been any proof of infidelity while she was married to Savage, there has been underground and um, hinted at stories of it. And what I'm about to play is part of an audio from that documentary. Uh, which part of it features um, Lanny Poffo, um, the brother of Randy Savage. You might remember him as Leaping Lanny Poffo. And, and uh, the gen later on, the genius Lanny Poffo. But mainly the audio is from um, Hulk Hogan's ex, Linda. Linda Balea, or Linda Hogan who was actually great friends with um, the late Miss Elizabeth Hewitt during her life. And um, here's that audio. Well, I'll say that their relationship at the time when they were being married, I would say tumultuous, on the verge of breaking up. So uh, Terry had been cast in a movie called Mr. Nanny. It required us to be down in Miami for about eight weeks. So Liz called and goes, when are you gonna be back home? And I said, I'm going back the next week she's like oh she's like randy can i please go i heard her talking to him in the back of the phone she's like can i please go i want to go help linda with the kids i just want to go see them and hang out with nick and brooke in the pool and stuff and he's like well only if you're going to be babysitting you're going to be with linda she flew down with us it was so much fun she helped me unload the kids we got the toys we were hanging out we're all going to go out to dinner you know i said so i'll just go get ready do whatever come back from your workout or whatever and 7 30 i'm thinking like are we going to do our makeup together and our hair together which is what we always did so i'm kind of like knocking on her door and i see the light is on you can see under the door but she's not answering
1992, leaving her husband Randy Savage behind, Elizabeth travels alone to Miami to stay with Hulk Hogan and his wife Linda. Terry had to film the next morning, and the whole next day goes on, and I see her at the pool. I'm like, Liz, where were you? You know, we were worried about you. And she's like, oh, well, I met this other gentleman that lives in the building, and he has an extra room here in the building, and he, he thought maybe I'd want to take it. The way I heard the story was that Liz wanted away from Randy, and so she contacted Hulk's wife, Linda, and went and stayed at, with them. Now, meanwhile, Randy is freaking out because he doesn't know where the love of his life is. Randy kept calling my room, wanting to talk to Liz. And I was like, Liz is not here. <laughs> I didn't say she had her own room. I just said, she's not here. I think she's with friends or something like that. And he goes, well, where is she? I was like, she's not here. She's not here. Randy was like, I'm going to fly down. You know, don't tell her because I don't, I don't like this. You know, she's never, like, missed my calls. And she should be answering. Or she should at least be calling me back. Three hours later, he lands. Comes in blazing and the door blazing. And goes, and I'm sitting there, and he's like, where's Liz? I was like, Randy, look, I don't know. He's like, what? You know, where do you think she is? You know, who was she with last? What did you guys do? I'm going to go find Liz, and I want you to sit here in the chair. And if you so much as leave this chair, and you smarten her up and tell her that I'm here looking for her, you're going to hear about it. I'd never seen Randy like this before in my life, because I'd never even seen him argue or fight. Seriously. I really hadn't. So him and Terry went out the door, and I didn't know what was going on. I just knew I was leaving the chair. And I guess he found her. Terry came back to the room and said, I left them on their own. They're sorting it out. So they got in their rental car. They drove back home. And he basically told Terry in so many words or less, like, this is not coming back to Miami. And there's no more hanging out. Party's over. This is ridiculous. She just went too crazy, you know? I think Randy felt, you know, again, life imitating art that Hulk was taking Liz's side. Now, you just listen to that audio. Now, me thinking as a man, now, put myself in Randy Savage's shoes. Put myself in his shoes. I personally don't think I would have went all crazy like he did. But at the same time, I'm sorry. You go supposed to be down there with your buddy, as you see a picture roll by with with um, Miss Liz's um, last relationship before her death with um, wrestler Lex Luger, and we know how that turned out. But getting back on point, if you're supposed to be with your girlfriends, taking care of kids, and just hanging out with her and her husband, but then. You are in. You meet another man. And he had an extra room. And you're just in the extra room. Just sleeping. Nothing else happening. I'm not saying it's not possible. But given the relationship. The alleged tumultuous relationship. Between Mr. Savage and um, Miss Elizabeth. Uh, I think they was doing I think he was doing more than sharing a room and I mean and look at Miss Elizabeth I mean Miss Elizabeth was one of those women that I mean there are a handful of women regardless of what race or nationality they come from they walk across the room every man wants to get uh, I'm being PG here. Every man that sees her wants to get natural with her, regardless of race, creed, or color. I don't care if you're a white man, I don't care if you're a black man, I don't care if you're Asian man, I don't care if you're Hispanic man. There are a handful of women that you see them walk across the room, you want to jump their bones. Uh, I think Jasmine Guy in her prime was like that, Holly Berry in her prime was like that uh Pamela Anderson in her heyday was like that and I think Miss Elizabeth was one of those type of women you see a woman like Miss Elizabeth so in that respect I can understand why Randy Savage went nuts but at the same time 
when you suffocate and constantly put, shall we say, ground rules on somebody in a relationship, even if you're not physically hitting them or anything, when you do that, eventually they're going to rebel in some way. They're going to rebel eventually. So, not saying if, in fact, that's what happened. Not saying what Miss Liz did was right, but if I had to be honest, you kind of was creating the situation for that to happen. You were creating creating um, the environment for that to happen. Again, not saying if what she allegedly did, she did, was right. Because like I said, there's no evidence that she ever cheated on Randy. But, not, but if she did, it was more out of rebellion and out of, and out of wanting some freedom. Because you have to find that balance. Basically, I'll be on. I'll be on this. If I get with someone and I'm, you know, in a relationship, we have that mutual understanding. This is about us. Um, no more, no extra people in our relationship, and and stuff like that. If I gotta put all kinds of, because I've had the argument from. A couple of guy friends say, well, some people you have to do that with. But I'm sorry. If I got to do all that to have a relationship with you, I don't need you. I don't need you. I mean, that's too much added stress being put on me. And nah, nah, brah, nah. If I need to do all that, I don't need you. If I need to treat you like almost like a little kid just to have a relationship with you uh nah nah it's not worth it at least in my opinion but anyway that's my little opinion on on this um topic like I said there's never been any real proof of it but based on that uh, based on that audio if it's true if it's true I have to say, mm, because I have a hard time believing somebody's just going to let a woman like Miss Liz just have a room and him not be interested, and especially given the situation she was in at the time. Anyway, I'm out.